What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll show you a bunch of general fixes for DirectX files missing from your PC. I was requested to do this by someone watching my Armor 3 video, but for any game that you're receiving a error on your screen and the game doesn't start for something like d3d11.dll is missing, d3dx11 underscore maybe 43.dll is missing, etc, etc. This video is going to show you exactly how to fix all of those issues and more, regardless of the game. Usually by the end of this video, you'll have your issue solved, no matter what the game is. So without further ado, where do we start? Well, first of all, you need to make sure that your hardware actually supports the DirectX level that you're trying to play a game at. Often games will release with higher versions of DirectX, previously DirectX 9, 11, now finally 12, and probably onwards in the future, your graphics card may become outdated at a certain point and you won't be able to play new games unless DirectX support is added somehow. The easiest way to see what DirectX level your PC currently supports is by holding start, pressing R to bring up the run dialog box. Inside of here, type in DXDIAG, which is short for DirectX Diagnostics. Hit enter, and after a couple of seconds, a new window will open up. This window will provide a lot of information about your PC, and it'll load in more when this bar at the very bottom is done. What we're really looking for is this over here, DirectX version, DirectX 12. So my computer is able to run any DirectX 12 game, probably assuming that my GPU actually supports it. The easiest way to see if your GPU supports it is to do a bit of googling for the model of graphics card you have in your PC. Let's assume that the game you're trying to run is say DirectX 11, your PC supports DirectX 12 and so does your graphics card, why does it say files are missing? Well, the simplest way to fix this is one of two ways. Either we download the DirectX installer off of Microsoft's website, or we use the bundled DirectX installer that comes with the game of your choice. So let's start with a game. Let's say that you're trying to play, say, Armor 3. If you have the game on Steam, right-click the game, manage, and then browse local files. Usually, inside of the local files over here, you'll see some kind of redistributable folder or something along those lines. Then head back a folder into Steam Apps Common and you should see a folder called Steamworks Shared. But let's assume that you don't as in it's a second library that you've added. All that you need to do is navigate across to where Steam is installed and the game library inside of it. By default, it'll be on your C drive, Program Files, Steam. And inside of here, navigate into Steam Apps, Common and we'll find a Steamworks Shared folder. Open this up, Common Redist. And inside of here, you'll find DirectX, June 2010, which is the latest version of DirectX that you can download, and sorting by type, we should see DirectX set up at the very top, dxsetup.exe. Running this will let you install or repair DirectX on your computer. Of course, you may be wondering why it's 2010. Well, the rest of the updates you can get through the Windows Updater. But if we scroll down, you'll eventually see d3dx11 files over here, which is mainly what this installer is used to fix and probably what you're going to be having issues with. So that's fine. All you have to do is open up the installer, click yes when prompted for admin, and then you'll see this window over here. Accept, next, next once again, and it'll simply go ahead and verify the installation on your computer. And if it hasn't already been installed, it'll be installed from scratch. After this installation completes, you should be able to launch up the game of your choice. And if it works, then great. Otherwise, assuming that you're still getting a missing file error and it's one of the DirectX files, what else can we do? Well, first of all, do not go ahead and download the files off of the internet and somehow expect to do something with them. The best way of doing this is installing DirectX and fixing issues below that point. Downloading sketchy DLLs off the internet often results in some kind of virus running rampant on your computer. So if this fix didn't fix the issue and you're still missing a DirectX file, or simply you don't have Steam, so you don't have DirectX on your computer, what else can we do? Simply head across to the first link in the description down below and we'll be downloading DirectX from there. This is Microsoft's official link. As you can see, DirectX end user runtimes June 2010. Simply select your language and click download. After doing this, a simple installer for DirectX will be downloaded and when ran, it'll do the exact same as the previous installer I just showed you. But we're gonna be using this in just a moment. What you need to do now is launch up the game that's giving you the issue so you can look at the error on your screen. I'll simply download a sample image off the internet and open it up for you. As you can see, this program can't start because, for example, d3d11.dll was missing from your computer. What can we do to fix this? Well, first of all, let's assume that the file is corrupt, but it exists on your computer, so the installer isn't trying to repair it. 
what can we do? Now is when we get into editing files or removing files in your Windows directory. So if you haven't already got System Restore set up, hit Start, type in Restore, and click Create a Restore Point. Because we're going to be editing system files, it's a very good idea to get this set up and working. Simply select your C drive, make sure that it's turned on, and then click Create right over here next to Restore Point. If something were to go wrong, you can bring up this window, click System Restore, and restore back to the point before we made any changes in your Windows directory. Now that everything's backed up, where do we start? Well, hold Start and press E to bring up your file browser, then navigate into your C drive, Windows, scroll down and look for SysWow64, open this up, and inside of here, we'll be looking for the DLL files that are causing the issues. So in my case, it was d3d11.dll. I'll simply click anywhere, and type in D3D11 on my keyboard and we'll immediately have the file highlighted. As you can see, D3D11.dll. Those could of course be one of these files down here or anything like it. Say maybe even one of these D3DX files. What you need to do is move this file out of this folder and then to somewhere like your desktop. Let's assume that maybe D3DX11, maybe 43 is causing the issue. What I'll do is I'll hold Control and click X to cut the file. You can, of course, right click, cut, and I'll be pasting it onto my desktop so that it's no longer in my Windows directory. After confirming I'd like to do it, here's the file over here. Now, if I try and launch up a game, it will definitely give me an issue telling me that the file is missing, even though it existed there in the first place. What we need to do is open up the DirectX installer we just downloaded and follow through with the steps on screen. I'll click yes, and as you can see, things are looking a bit different. First of all, this program has to extract itself before we can run it. So I'll make a temporary folder on my desktop, which I'll delete when the installation is done, and I'll call it whatever. I'll open it up, click at the very top, and copy this bit of text so that we don't have to navigate for it manually in the Browse section over here as such. I'll just paste it into here, and then click OK. It'll extract all of the installer files into the temporary folder over here. I can open it up, sort by type, and then open up dxsetup.exe as we did before. I'll click yes to run it as admin, accept, next, next, and wait for the installation to complete. Now you should see this file over here that's missing be placed back into the Windows folder over here. It was d3dx10 underscore 43, and it goes right about here somewhere. There we go. You can see the file has now reappeared, and let's say that this file over here was corrupt, it should now be repaired with a brand new version of the file from the installer we just downloaded from Microsoft's official website. Launching up a game should mean that this file works immediately and everything returns back to normal. Assuming that all of the files you moved out have now reappeared, you can simply select them on your desktop or whatever temporary folder you put them and delete them. It's a very good idea to make sure that the program works before deleting the files that we pulled out of the Windows folder. And if you were getting more than one error, i.e. you were getting a bunch of pop-ups about DirectX missing, simply move out all of those files instead of just one and wait for it to complete. Now, hopefully your game should be working and any corrupt files should be moved out of your Windows directory and replaced with fresh ones off of the internet. But let's assume that something's still missing for some reason. What else can we do? Well, now that we know that everything's set up properly in our Windows directory, it must be something else. So let's assume that it's the game. Usually, if you have the game on a platform like Steam, simply select the game. I'll select a smaller one just so that this is quicker. I'll right click it, click Properties, and then head across to the Local Files tab where I can click Verify Integrity of Game Files. This will run through all of the game files on my computer and verify that they match the server and a functioning version of the game. If anything is found to be corrupt or missing, it'll be fixed and re-downloaded. Also, at the end of this, usually it'll reinstall all of the dependencies that are needed, including DirectX, so things should definitely be working after this. But let's assume that for some odd reason, the game is still not functioning even after this completes and it allows you to launch the game again. What else can we do? Well, I'll cancel it and I'll open up Windows Update to make sure that my PC is up to date by hitting Start, typing an update, and opening up Check for Updates. After the window opens, we should be able to click Check for Updates and then download and install updates. Otherwise, if you see them in a separate section like we did just now, there we go, you'll have to click Download and Install manually. I'll be doing this just after editing this video. Assuming that the game still doesn't work and your PC is fully up to date, what else can we do? Well, from here, there's two things. The first thing is to verify that our Windows is not corrupt in any way. We can do this by hitting Start, typing in CMD, and then running command prompt as admin. When this new black window opens up, type in SFC space 
forward slash scan now one word and hit enter. This will go ahead and check your system files because it's the system file checker. It'll scan everything and try to repair any files if anything's found to be broken. And assuming that the game is still broken for some reason, if you have multiple hard disks, a weird fix that I've heard of working sometimes is moving the game from one disk to another, usually off of your primary disk with Windows on it or moving it back to said disk. And hopefully by now, all of your problems have been fixed, regardless of what game you're playing or what issues you're having regarding missing DirectX files. If you find any of the solutions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno over here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!